but if Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. And now, <clears throat> Mr. Green, now I know the, the chairman uh, was really drilling down on it, but I just really want to put a sharper, sharper point on it. You do not embrace at all the defunding the, pro the police, correct? I do not, Senator. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I just, so I want to thank you for being here today. And I know your nomination was brought in before this committee uh, last Congress. And my predecessor made it prevented from you to be able to move moving forward. Is that a fact? That's, that's correct. Yeah. I personally wanted, looking forward, to giving you a fair chance to discuss your policy work on its substance. Thank and you, to, Senator. And you know, with Congress's historic investments in the Infrastructure in Investment and the JOBS Act, we are beginning to seal some real improvements in the quality of, in the life of forgotten communities. And so, Mr. Green, has HUD been working with the Department of Transportation to coordinate on the implementation, the IIJA? If you were conf confirmed, could HUD help track housing costs around major infrastructure projects so we could develop targeted strategies to preserve affordability? Absolutely, uh, Senator. Um, uh, we are, as a country, um, benefiting from unprecedented investments in our nation's and overdue investments in our nation's infrastructure and transportation. Uh, at the same time, we are also facing a tremendous uh, housing crisis, and there is an opportunity to leverage those investments to address the housing needs uh, uh, so desperate uh, in so many communities. And we've already started uh, that work at HUD uh, with the Department of Transportation. Uh, we just earlier this year announced a Thriving Communities Technical Assistance Program to give local communities the support they need and help them build capacity to leverage those investments. Of course, we would continue to do so. Uh, we already have tools to measure and data to measure how changes in prices uh, may, that may be associated with um, uh, transportation infrastructure investments, and we can use our uh, Thriving Communities TA to help communities use those data to make more informed decisions. So it's a, both a tremendous challenge, but I would say also a tremendous opportunity that we are eager to leverage. Thank you. Dr. Bernstein, between the historic investments in the American infrastructure and manufacturing, we have seen in the CHIPS Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, Infrastruction and Investment and Jobs Act, we are witnessing a level of government investment in American infrastructure and manufacturing capacity that we have not seen in decades. Importantly, these investments are translated into real high paid jobs for Pennsylvanians and working nationwide. So doctor, how can smart, proactive government investments and economic policy create high paying, family sustaining jobs for workers and exp expanding the middle class? Well, thank you, Senator. Um, <clears throat> through precisely the types of investments that you've mentioned, but <clears throat> specifically, uh, by uh, tapping the power of private markets uh, so that we are uh, working in tandem, that the, uh, that the government provides uh, tailwinds to investments in areas where we've historically underinvested, both at great cost to our domestic production, but also to our national security. Uh, so the CHIPS Act is a, is a classic example. We used to produce close to 40% of the world's uh, uh, computer chips. Now we're somewhere around 10%. And uh, I would say the exposure of that shortfall was made very clear uh, during the pandemic. So um, uh, 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 elevating the resiliency and the importance of those supply chains, uh, whether it's uh, chips or whether it's um, the production of clean energy, is very much a, a motivator for us. And again, just underscoring that, uh, of course, this is not something we can do ourselves, Congress or any administration. We have to work closely with uh, the private sector. And that's why I think we're so 
uh, glad to be seeing some very strong reactions, whether it's um, investment in manufacturing, hundreds of billions coming in from the sidelines uh, to complement the kinds of uh, incentives that we've introduced in the bills you've mentioned. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, Senator Federman. Uh, Senator Kennedy of Louisiana is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, gentlemen.